podcast with uh, the wake makers anyways we're here today to talk about um, wet sounds they uh, sent this sent us this equalizer with a talkback microphone that's right here so we're making this podcast to help promote their really awesome equalizer and just kind of show a bit about the install and what we're doing and then later just show how we're gonna set up the equalizer with our amps okay so um, me and poppies we don't have any like degrees or any incredible experience with actually setting things up with poppies you know, you're a, you're a mechanic, and or you were, and just go on from right there. And... Yeah, well, I, I retired from having the uh, uh, automotive and marine repair shop for 40 years, so yeah. a lot of background. Now, not that you have to be an expert to do this, but it helps yeah. uh, in, in order to get the, the wiring straight and all the, uh, the mounting in, in, in such a way that uh, it's not going to vibrate loose or create problems in the future. Yeah, definitely. And um, as far as the audio cables go, I mean, it, it's pretty straightforward, but I mean, you know, just to know a bit about audio cables, you know, what, what exactly you're doing, it doesn't hurt, and it helps quite a bit. Anyways, so, as going back to our Wet Sounds equalizer, I talked to John from Wet Sounds this morning, actually, and he gave me um, a lot of really good tips on what, um, what not to do and what to do, and some just, I caution. So, um, one of the big things he stressed is make sure that all of your audio equipment, your radio, your amplifiers, and your equalizer, they're all running from the same battery. He said you want to make sure they're running from the same ground because if they're running from like, you know, you have your radio running to your primary battery and then all your amps and then your equalizer running to, you know, your secondary battery, he said you can get a ground loop. And basically what a ground loop is, it's just it causes, you know, a lot of hissing, not a lot of hissing, but it causes hissing and it causes um, just sound you don't want in your stereo. So that's why we have to make sure that you know all of our audio equipment is running to the same battery. And um, Poppies and I have already checked the big old cable and seen that it's gone through to our secondary battery over there. So we don't have to worry about that. But John made it very clear that you're going to want to check and make sure that they didn't hook up the radio or some part of the audio equipment to one part of the battery. I mean to one battery and then another part of the audio equipment to another battery and that will cause the ground loop. Alright, a second... Uh, um, advisory, you know, just warning that John gave me from Wet Sounds is that, uh, you know, just be just be very careful with these things. You know, he said uh, he's been installing these for 16 years and you just need to treat it with care and caution because, you know, if you don't do it right, you know, if you don't have the right wiring, you know, all set up right, I mean, there's, there's a possibility, you know, it's not going to work right, but there's also the possibility that, you know, it could damage the system. So, you know, just be careful when you're installing it. But like I said, me and Poppies aren't experts in this field and I mean, all we're really going to be doing is installing this up to the wall right around here this way and then just drilling a hole right into the right here for the talkback microphone and then we're just going to be running RCA cables from the radio to this to the amplifiers and you know it's pretty straightforward and if you go online you can get the owner's manuals and you can see exactly how to do it it's very detailed and then that's that's what me and Pop is are gonna do today. Just pretty much getting it installed and working, and then um, a few days later or whatever, me and my dad are gonna actually go and sync up the amplifiers with the equalizer. And that is um, much more technical, but Wet Sounds they have incredibly detailed instructions on how you're gonna go and set up the gains the amplifiers individually for your equalizer. So me and my dad are going to follow its instructions and take care of that, and you'll see that later in this podcast. And we have to be careful, obviously, when you're mounted. You know, the screws are not too long or too short. Yeah. <laughs> and heavy-duty enough. What you're mounted to is, is structurally solid, so it's not going to vibrate or anything. Also, um, mounting it in the same compartment minimizes the length of wiring you have to run. And the money As opposed, you have to spend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cables, uh, RCA cables get expensive. But mounting this unit on the driver's side, would uh, necessitate running cables uh, all the way across, either through the bow, underneath, through the back, whatever, just a lot of cables, a lot of length. And this is going to minimize everything but mounting in the same compartment. Okay, the, the negative side of that is having the mic across. Yeah, right <laughs> there. Side. But that's, that's minimal compared to the other. Yeah. Um, so we have and also, cables. having the mic right here, 
it allows for the passengers to get from the mic. Because before, when we had our talkback mic on that side, it was very easy for the driver just to know it was right next to the driver. You can go pick it up and talk, which is great. But um, if you wanted, if like, you know, I was driving and my dad was sitting right over here or over here, you know, if he wanted to talk to the pa um, the rider, you know, he'd have to go, the, I'd have to grab the talkback microphone, reach it all the way over there, and the wires are all over me. And it was just very difficult for a passenger to grab the talkback microphone and talk. If we have it right here, it's a bit more difficult for the driver to get to it, but not too bad. But it's incredibly easy for a passenger who's able to put their full undivided attention to the rider to just talk and teach them what they need to be doing. Also, my dad wanted to mention, you know, he's a bigger guy. And so having, you know, one of these, pretty much mounting anything extra into the driver compartment, his knees bang around all over there and they, it just doesn't fit for him. And so it works out quite well to put it right in here. And as you said, the only real negative downside is that, you know, if you're gonna fidget around with your settings a lot, you know, it's all the way in here and that's not too convenient and the talkback microphone. But hopefully as far as these settings go, you have to only set them once or twice and not touch them. So all in all, it's pretty beneficial to have the equalizer right inside this compartment right here. The positives far outweigh the negatives of having a mic yeah. kind of in, in a traffic area, but uh, overall it would be a much better situation. Yeah. And I really like the part where, where someone can fully devote themselves to speaking to the person in the water as opposed to the driver trying yeah, exactly. to while he's driving, to... looking in a mirror driving forward that so works out a lot yeah. better it's safer much safer much safer yeah and wake nine's about wake surfing safely all right so we're just gonna um install this and we'll show you some video of us just installing it and then uh, you'll see some video of my dad and i setting this up with uh, the music and all and then you're gonna see an entire summer of us loving our equalizer and uh we just want to say thank you to wet sounds for sending uh, us this equalizer and uh, hopefully this podcast just shows how amazing wet sounds are and as you can see our both of our amplifiers are already wet sounds amplifiers and um, you know just another good collection to our wet sounds collection anyways um, hope you enjoy the video okay we have to mount the unit at a bit of an angle but this way it's easy to see it kind of tilts forward so you can read all the uh, the settings easy enough and uh, just being careful not to drill too deep when you uh, Go to install the bolts, you want to use short bolts. Hey everyone, Arjun here from Wake 9. And as you can see, uh, my poppies and I got the equalizer with the talkback set up. And uh, I'm going to turn the music off in a minute, but I thought this was pretty cool and a cool way to start off the video. Anyways. Alright, so poppies and I just have a few more uh, finishing touches to do. And then after that, it's all done. But um, as you can see, um, we have our talkback microphone right here, and it just hooks up to this metal bracket-like thing, and uh, you can pull out and listen to it. You know, I'm not listen to it. Talk to it right here. You can bring it to the passenger right here who wants to talk. You can sit down in the driver's seat and talk. You know, so it, it really works out good. And as you can see, it's not like uh, it's not stretched out too much. I mean, it's just, I mean, right here, you're talking with your microphone. I mean, this is a bit stretched out, but I mean, look. Very, very good. Now uh, we have it all mounted inside of the here, and all the wires are hidden. Now, as you can see in the video, you know, with being underlaid, you have the equalizer, and they have this really cool feature on the, the WS420 where you can just change the illumination lights and you can go from red to blue. I mean, it's not, you know, the most important thing in the world, but it's really cool. And as you can see, we have our cables running up along the glove box. And they're kind of um, zip tied with a little screw that runs to the glove box. And it goes and it runs all the way down to these uh, amps right here. And it works really good and you can't, you can't even see it. And the reason why my poppies, he decided to go um, up along the glove box instead of, you know, near around the side where the water hoses are is because it's completely out of the way. You can barely see it. And he doesn't want to interfere with anything we're doing with the water hoses, just in case in the future if we needed to exchange, not exchange, but like, you know, something needed to be moved, there wasn't going to be any problems right there. And the third, it's not completely out of the way, so there's, nothing's going to be hidden it. I mean, it, there's, it's not even close to any traffic. So it looks really good. I mean, seriously, it looks like Poppies and I kind of knew what we were doing. And uh, I can't wait for my dad to come in here and see this. I mean, his face is going to be like, what? It's going to be, uh, it's going to be quite amazing. Anyways, um, so when we get on the boat uh, tomorrow, uh, my dad and I are going to go and actually uh, 
equalize all of the amps and set it all up with the equalizer so that we can have a banging stereo system completed. Testing, one, two, three, check, check. Testing the WS420 by what sound? So, RJ just installed our new WS420. Oh yeah, and my dad, who goes by Poppies, our WS420 wet sound system. And you know what? I gotta tell you, this thing is killer. We used we used to have something similar with our um, our old boat, and we had an Infinity sound system that did this. But it's nowhere near how cool this one is, and it includes the equalizer, and and uh, it's really neat. So anyway, RJ installed it. Did a great job, by the way. I mean, it looks great. We just have one little hole here, and. Um, we can push this all the way down in and it's all, you know, we showed you in the beginning of the podcast, the work they did, they did a great job. But what we're going to do today is now we got to run through the instructions. And by the way, West Sounds included some great instructions. And on top of that, we were able to email them and they, uh, and talk to them on the phone because we wanted to do it ourselves and they were a great help. Right, RJ? So, and RJ did this all by himself. I just with let him poppies. do it with poppies. But I mean, you called and did that all and so wet sounds was exceptional and from you know all my understanding it's not just because we're wake nine they would do the same thing for you we were very nice very very nice so anyway we're going to go through the steps basically now we have to equalize we have to set the equalizer and set the gains and get everything working just right so we're going to get that done and then we'll see how it works What's the consolation check 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 one two all right rj Great job, man. We went step by step through the instructions and, you know, set the low pass frequency and we set the gains and everything and uh, wet sounds. Uh, we're, you know what? We know how to work with audio, but we're not experts. And the instructions were easy to follow. We got it done. And, man, it sounds awesome, doesn't it? However, um, it sounds awesome, but the cool thing is now, RJ, we have that fine. I, you know what? I hate going into the head unit and trying to find where the adjustments are, or you know, they have the Z bass boost and all that other junk that makes your stereo sound horrible. And now we just go right in here to our WS420. We can tweak our bass, tweak our levels. We can make the tower louder, the boat louder. It's awesome. And at the same time, if Thomas is back there, Thomas, Ow. stop picking your nose. I have to say that a hundred times when he's wake surfing. Anyway. Perfect. We love it. Thank you, Wet Sounds. And if you're out there and you're thinking about a great upgrade to your new Taiga with your, uh, you know, Wet Sounds equipment that you already have, the WS420 is definitely the bomb. The bomb.